Hello friends, it's Katherine Doss here with Cat's Keto Crew and I completed the reboot this morning and tonight I'm actually going to have, well there's Avery, I'm going to have some leftover chicken carbonara that I made the other night with some palmini noodles but I thought I would make some three ingredient cheesy garlic bread. So super easy, super, super quick. So this is a cup of, you could use mozzarella cheese. Tonight I am using the pizza blend just because that was the bag that was open and we're on quarantine. So we're gonna take a cup of cheese. I mean, this is like ridiculously easy. This is a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay, so I'm just gonna add it into the same bowl. I am then going to take just one egg and not make a huge mess, right? Okay, right, I'm gonna put that in there. Throw my egg away. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna whisk it up first. Okay, it makes it a lot easier. And then I'm gonna add my whisked egg. Every, just slow down, please. To my cheese, okay? So y'all, that was three ingredients, right? <laughs> Mozzarella cheese, Parmesan cheese, one egg, okay? So I'm gonna stir it around pretty good. And it's gonna turn into this globby mess, okay? So really start to incorporate your egg, okay? Make sure you get down there to the bottom. You could, you could probably do this in a bowl a whole lot easier, right? Whatever, whatever. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I have a parchment lined pizza pan and I'm literally just gonna dump it out on the pan, okay? And flatten it out. So if you can see that, I mean, this is how really, how easy this gets. So we're just gonna flatten it out with it all still connecting together so that it will all congeal thanks to the egg. It's not gonna be, if you're making, if you're keto and you've made cheese crisps before, this is a little different than the cheese crisp because it does have that egg in it rather than just melted cheese, okay? So I am just spreading it out. Get my parchment all right. Okay, so those were the three ingredients, right? <laughs> cup of mozzarella cheese, quarter of cup Parmesan cheese, one beaten egg, thinned out, gonna put that over there. I like the taste of garlic. Okay, so this is just straight garlic powder. So I am literally, here's my flattened cheese, right? I'm literally just gonna sprinkle a little bit. If you've worked with garlic powder before, you know a little goes a long way. Okay, so there's that. And like, let's be fancy, right? Look at my quarantine fanciness. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this on top. This is Italian seasoning, and so it's just gonna go on top. So all I'm gonna do is actually pop this in my oven. Say hi to the people, Avery. Hi. Hi. So I'm gonna pop that into my oven at 350 for 15 minutes. And just keep an eye on it. You can see how brown it gets along the way if it's your desired crispiness or whatever. So what do I do with this? Once it's done, I'll cut it up and either dip it in marinara sauce. You could dip it in ranch if you're like a a ranch dipper. You can even cook this and use this as the base for like a pizza crust. So say you want to make keto pizza, but you don't want to go through the whole process of making fat head dough or doing anything like that. This makes a great base. Okay. You can even make it into two separate things and use it as like a bread substitute too. So can't wait to hear what you think of cheesy garlic bread and let me know if you have a different variation of it but that is what I'll be eating tonight